Hi, welcome again to Ingvid.com. My name is Adam. Today's lesson is about if not, unless, as long as not. Actually, this is a lesson that a few students have uh, requested because a lot of people get confused with this word unless. So that's going to be the focus of our lesson. Although, to understand this word unless, you have to understand the if not conditional. That's called a conditional phrase. Okay, so before we do anything, we need to make sure that everybody understands how to use the conditional, how to use an if clause, because sometimes people get confused with this. Today, we're going to we're going to focus on a real conditional, not the past, not the hypothetical, the unreal. We're just going to focus on the real one because all of this stuff applies to the other ones as well. So let's start. Before I look into the grammar of it, which is actually important, let me give you a sentence. Next week you have a test and you come to me for advice as your teacher. And what am I going to tell you? If you don't study, you won't succeed. Okay? If you study, you will succeed. Very simple, right? So first, we're going to look at how to structure this sentence because then I want to show you that unless basically means the same as if not. Okay. So first, to make a real conditional sentence, you have your if, you have your subject, you have your present verb, for example, or you have if, subject, and your not present. If you don't study, and then the second half. Now, the second half could be positive or negative. The second half of the clause doesn't matter according to what you have here. This will always be the same. Doesn't matter how, which clause you're beginning with, you're always going to end the same way because the meaning doesn't change. Okay, but we're going to get into more specifics. If you study, you will succeed. If you don't study, you will fail. Or, if you study, you will not fail. If you don't study, you will fail. The verb you use here defines which one of these you're going to use. So this is not important. This doesn't change. What we're going to focus on is here. Now, the most important thing to remember is that unless basically means if not. And you'll notice here I have a present, I have a positive verb, I have a negative verb. <clears throat> We're also going to look at as long as or as long as not, positive and negative. With unless, you're only going to use a positive verb. Okay, that's very important to remember. Unless you study, you will fail. Unless you study, you will not succeed. Okay, it all, it's all relative. And as long as means the exact same thing as the if or the unless. As long as you study, you will do well. As long as you don't study, you won't do well. Okay? Very simple. So, if not, unless, as long as not. Basically, all mean the same thing. It just, you just have to remember how to structure it. And the structure is almost the same. What is the most important? Do not use unless with not. Then you have a double negative, and we all know from our English classes, beginner English classes, we don't like double negatives, right? Okay, good. Let's look at some examples of actual sentences to see how all of this works. Okay, so here we have some sentences. Let's go through each one, and I'll make the changes to the negatives as I go along. If you quit smoking, for all you smokers out there, if you quit smoking, you will feel better. So, uh, if, subject, verb, will, verb, positive verb, etc. Or, if you quit smoking, you won't feel bad. Now, what happens if I introduce the negative into the first part, right? If you don't, if you don't quit smoking, what's going to happen? Or what will happen, excuse me. If you don't quit smoking, you'll feel better. Is that true? No. If you don't quit smoking, you'll feel bad. If you don't quit smoking, you won't feel 
good. Right? You made this the negative, you have to change the consequences. You have to change the condition that will happen after this is met. This is the difference, right? If you don't quit smoking, you'll feel bad. Let's look at this sentence. Unless you quit smoking, you will feel bad. Now, what's the difference between this sentence and this sentence with a don't? Nothing. It's the exact same. Here is the result. If you don't quit smoking, you will feel bad. Bad and bad. You understand what I'm saying? The unless is the same as if you don't. This is what we have to remember here. This is the negative included in the word. Now, usually when there's a negative in a word, everybody can understand it. In the word unless, there's nothing to tell you it's a negative. Except maybe the word less, but not really, right? So you have to be very careful to remember this means if not, okay? Unless you quit smoking, you won't feel good. You won't feel good. Same thing. But the don't and the unless go together. Same meaning. As long as you smoke, now here I have the verb smoke. Here I put quit smoking. I went to the opposite verb, smoke. As long as you smoke, you will feel bad. As long as you don't smoke, what is the consequence? You will feel good. What do you know? Don't changes the consequence. Don't changes the consequence. Unless is the consequence. We don't say unless you don't quit smoking. Okay? It's a double negative. It sounds very strange. It feels very strange. We don't use it. We go with this negative and we have the matching consequence. Consequence basically means the result of the action. Okay. Uh, I hope this is pretty clear. Anyway, go to ingvid.com. There's a quiz there. You can also ask me questions. Don't forget to check out the video on YouTube as well and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you again real soon. Bye.